Hi everyone, this is George Kinkov and I'm an amateur astrophotographer. In this video I'll tell you about a comet called C2021A1 Leonard that may be visible with naked eye this coming December. Some people already call this comet a Christmas star of 2021. In this video I'll explain when and where you have to look if you want to spot this object. If this video is helpful or interesting to you, I would like to ask you to please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so that YouTube will promote this video better. I really appreciate your support, guys! Comet C2021A1 Leonard was discovered on January 3rd of 2021 by Greg Leonard at Arizona's Mount Lemon Observatory. On that date, the comet had the 90s magnitude and was a really dim object. After some calculations, astronomers concluded that the orbital period of this comet is about 80,000 years and its aphelion is located at the distance of around 3,500 astronomical units, that is 3,500 times as far as the distance between Earth and the Sun. Interesting fact, the comet passes its perihelion on January 3rd, 2022, a year after its discovery date. It'll pass near the Sun at a distance of 0.62 astronomical units, but before Comet Leonard will get closer to Earth on December 12th at a distance of 34.9 million kilometers. During the first weeks of November, you can spot this comet using any amateur telescope. Every day, the brightness of Comet Leonard will be increasing. Based on a light curve, the comet will gain its maximum magnitude in December with magnitude 4. There are also some predictions that this comet may appear even brighter. Since comets are really unpredictable objects, it's hard to make a precise prediction. But anyway, this comet will become an interesting object to look at in the following two months. In November and December 2021, the comet is visible in the Northern Hemisphere. You can see this comet in the morning, a few hours right before sunrise. During November, the comet is going through constellations Canes Venatici and Coma Berenices. In December, it'll move to Bootes and continue its journey in the constellation Serpents later. These days, the comet has a magnitude around 9.5, so you can observe this comet using an amateur telescope. In order to find a comet at a specific date, I would advise you to use any planetarium application, and I believe the most popular is the Stellarium app. In the first days of December, the comet will gain 6 magnitude and will be available for observations with naked eye. You'll be able to observe this comet every day in the morning and see how its brightness increases every day. Also, I want to point out a few interesting dates that you want to spend observing this comet. First, in the morning on November 24th, the comet will pass between two galaxies called Crowbar and Whale Galaxy. For these observations, you need a telescope with aperture 6 inch and higher in order to spot galaxies. Also, on this date, the light of the Moon may interfere with observations. The next interesting date is the morning of December 3rd, when the Leonard Comet will be in conjunction with bright star cluster called Messier 3. This observation will be available for any amateur telescope or even binocular, and the Moon will not interfere with this observation. Fingers crossed for good weather, as I want to take a picture of this alignment. On December 6, the comet passes near a bright star called Arctur, and it's a really good time to find the comet if you're a beginner in astronomy, since Arctur is a really bright star and you won't struggle finding this object. Closer to December 8th, there is a chance that the brightness of the comet might increase rapidly, because on that date the Earth will pass the orbital plane of the comet. We'll be able to see this comet edge on, and that orientation may increase the brightness of the comet. As I told you earlier, on December 12th, the comet approached the closest distance to Earth. These days, we may see the maximum brightness of the comet, and definitely observe this comet with naked eye. After December 12th, the comet will switch its position from early morning to evening sky. You can see this comet right after sunset. On December 16th and 17th, planet Venus will be a good reference point if you want to find Comet Leonard. So far, the brightness of the comet is developing in accordance with forecasts. This is a good sign, because there is a the higher chance that we can see this comet with naked eye. This morning I already took my first picture of Comet Leonard, and let me share with you a few moments from this night of observations. Alright, I'm at the front yard taking a picture of Comet Leonard. It is morning of November 9th, the time is uh, 4.54 am in the morning, and the temperature outside is 4 degrees Celsius, which is pretty cold. I'm taking pictures of Comet Leonard using my Skywatcher 8080 telescope and a DSLR camera Canon Rebel T2i. I've set the APT software to run 2 million of exposure subs at ISO 800 and let's take a look at the latest picture of Comet that I got. 
Okay, so now you're looking at the Comet C2021A1 Leonard. It's located right in the center of the frame. It appears as a star with a greenish comma that surrounds the core of the comet. Also, you can see the comet's tail. It's right over here. So based on the latest observation reports, the comet magnitude is 9.5 now, but even though the magnitude is 9.5, it still looks pretty good on the raw file, and I'm wondering what the final picture will look like. So as I told you earlier, the brightness of this comet will be increasing every day, and uh, like in a, already in a couple of weeks, it might be available for binocular observations, and uh, in December, there is the high chance that we'll see this comet with naked eye, and I hope everybody in the Northern Hemisphere will be able to see this object. Alright guys, that is all I got for tonight. I hope this video was helpful to you and you found out more about Leonard's Comet. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to reply on them. If you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel because I have more videos about amateur astronomy and astrophotography coming. I wish you luck with your comet observations and hope to see you in the future videos. Until then, clear skies!